Look around your home and I bet you won't have many mains power outlets empty and ready to use. They can be seen as a luxury in some homes that have a lot of devices plugged in at all times. This begs the question as to whether power line adapters will work through extension cords and whether it's even safe. In this video, we'll look at the different types of extension cords you can get and whether power line adapters will actually even work using them. Hey everyone, it's Chris here from homenetworkgeek.com where we talk about everything home networking. If you find this video helpful, it'd be great if you could drop it a like and consider subscribing to the channel. Now let's jump straight in and start talking about anti-surge extension cords. Extension cords generally fall into one of two categories, anti-surge, or non-anti-surge. Anti-surge extension cords are designed to protect the devices that you plug into them from electrical surges. These surges have the potential to seriously damage your devices and even potentially fry them completely. The anti-surge extension cords are designed to absorb some of the excess voltage and protect your devices. Surges occur when the amount of voltage on the line increases and can vary in intensity. Although they typically last less than a thousandth of a second, they can cause permanent and irreversible damage. Here are a few examples of what can commonly cause a power surge. Lightning strikes, power cuts, faulty wiring, and frequently switching on and off devices that use a lot of power. Plugging your devices into an anti-surge extension cord gives you peace of mind that they are protected should you ever experience a power surge. They are recommended over your standard extension cord especially if you have high value or sensitive devices that are plugged into them. Now, although power surges are much less common these days, there are a few reasons as to why you should want to be using an anti-surge extension cord over one that doesn't provide the same protection. Number one, they cost very little extra for the surge protection. Two, some will actually come with a warranty should your devices fail for whatever reason. And number three, it's simply not worth the risk of not having surge protection in place. Now we know a bit more about how anti-surge extension cords are different to regular extension cords, do power line adapters work in one and not the other? For the reasons we've just discussed, we're going to rule out using the extension cords that don't offer surge protection as we simply don't want to put our power line adapters at any risk. The extension cords that do offer surge protection, they'll typically come in one of two types, basic and advanced. Basic anti-surge extension cords offer simple protection from a surge increase in mains voltage, whereas the more expensive advanced models offer this protection as well as built-in filters to protect against EMI and RFI. These stand for electromagnetic interference and radio frequency interference. Given that the electrical wiring differs from home to home, it's almost impossible to say which power line adapters will work with which anti-surge extension cords. That being said, the general consensus is that the more expensive advanced extension cords are more likely to prevent your power line adapters from working compared to the cheaper, more basic extension cords that still offer you the same surge protection. I suspect this is down to the power line adapters using a signal or frequency that the advanced extension cords are blocking out. So if you absolutely have to plug your power line adapter into an extension cord, make sure it's the basic one that doesn't come with the filters, yet they still offer the same surge protection. So you now know that power line adapters should be plugged into a anti-surge extension cord if absolutely necessary. But what about the power line adapters themselves? Is there anything in the power line adapters themselves that make them work better with extension cords? Based on the research I've done, there isn't a particular feature that you should be keeping an eye out for when shopping for a power line adapter that's going to help it perform any better when it is plugged into an extension cord. That being said, here is some general guidance on what you should be doing with your power line adapters to get the best performance out of them with an extension cord. Number one, Make sure the extension cord doesn't come with any filtering, as we previously discussed. Number two, avoid plugging other devices into the extension cord as well, wherever possible. And number three, place the pair of power line adapters as close together as you can to reduce the distance that the signal needs to travel. If my advice is to avoid plugging power line adapters into extension cords wherever possible, what's the point of having the cord in the first place and why shouldn't you just plug it directly into a wall outlet? What you could find is that your wall outlets are actually mounted too close to the ground and power line adapters can be pretty big and may not physically fit. Some will have the ethernet port on the underside so you quite possibly might not have enough room to even plug an ethernet cable into it, which is why some people do have to rely on using extension cords. 
Yes, it is definitely considered safe to be plugging your power line adapters into an extension cord. Many people do it without any consequences and the standards in which manufacturers must meet is getting ever and ever higher. As we discussed earlier, just remember to plug them into an anti-surge extension cord and this is just to provide the devices themselves that extra protection more than anything. Many power line adapters these days will have an integrated power outlet which is also known as a pass-through socket. This is simply a plug socket that's embedded into the front of the power line adapter and allows you to plug an extra device in. You therefore don't lose the use of the outlet that the power line adapter itself is plugged into. The more modern power line adapters are much better at filtering out noise, so it's generally accepted that you can plug an extra device into the pass-through outlet without any risk of the signal getting affected. That's not to say you should plug an extension cord into the pass-through outlet though, as if you have lots of power hungry devices plugged into the extension cord, you could see some interference on the signal. The recommendation is to limit the number of devices that you plug into the power line adapter to just one, and preferably one that doesn't consume a huge amount of power. Try and move your more power hungry devices and other extension cords to a completely separate outlet to reduce the chances of interference of the signal. So the conclusion I've come to is that power line adapters should work through extension cords but you certainly won't see their full potential. Ideally, you would forget the extension cord altogether and plug the adapter directly into a wall outlet. Now, I know this is easier said than done, especially when we all have lots of devices at home that rely on the mains electricity supply. If there does come a time where using an extension cord with your power line adapter can't be avoided, just make sure it offers surge protection and ideally doesn't have the advanced filters in place that can interfere with the signal. So I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, I'd really appreciate it if you could drop it a like. If you have any other questions around home networking that you'd like me to answer, please drop them in the comments below and I'll do my best to help you out. Also make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications to keep up with everything home networking. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.